how great the crowd was. I mean, unbelievable. The best crowd of the year by far. Students were awesome. Everybody was awesome. What a great environment. Um, and I think that had a lot to do with how, how hard and how well we played. Um, you know, just a, a, a really good effort by everyone on the, on the roster. Um, and I'll, I'll let you guys ask questions for these guys, let them go, and, and then ask questions for me afterwards. But I do want to make sure I mention how, how great the students were and how great the crowd was. Uh, I mean, just the same way it feels in the crowd, essentially, like, just electric, like, um, I mean, you kind of plan to be aggressive throughout the game, but when you're actually able to, like, make a play on the rim like that, um, and you get the crowd reaction, I mean, it's just stuff you dream of as a kid. Well, was there something maybe that clicked pregame or maybe early in the game for you that just led to a successful night? Uh... I mean, for me, I didn't like uh, approach the game any differently than I do um, any other game. It was just uh, our game plan allowed me to uh, do the things that I did, and I played hard, and uh, you know, I found success doing that. So, so you got to keep that going. Sincere, what is it about playing Ball State that just helps you take your game to another level? Last year, you were 42 and 10 threes against them. Tonight, you had 17 mega offensive effort list in your lane. So, what is it about Ball State that um, I don't know. Really, it was it was our home crowd tonight that uh, gave me a, a boost. A boost. I just wanted to uh, put on the show for them and uh, and ward them with a good game because we really appreciate them for coming out and supporting us. We good. We all good. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. All right. Good, all right, good job. Yeah. CP. Well, I mean, they they have a lot of returning players from last year's team, and uh, you know they they've they've all had a really good season tonight. You know, I think our you know our guys were really ready for the game, and um, you know we knew it was a big game for us. They were four and one, uh, thirteen and five. They had won nine out of ten games, and this was our first chance to play at home. And and I really think that when you know when you come down and you see that people are here. And, and the atmosphere is the way it is. Like, if you're not excited to play in that one, then you're going to have a tough time being excited to play. So uh, I thought it was, you know, they have good personnel and good players, and, and their coach is doing a really good job with their team. Tonight, you know, we competed at a really high level. And, and when we do that, we have, we have an excellent team. And then really there, outside of the last few minutes of the game, you really limited them on free throws. Yeah. The third best team in the nation at free throws, I guess. Just, what was the importance of that? Yeah, I thought in the first half in particular, we did a great job of, of not fouling. Like, it was an important piece of what we were doing. Once we got a big lead, you know, it seemed like we sort of relaxed a little bit, um, which allowed them to get to the free throw line on, on some things that I would say a little careless. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, we did a good job overall of limiting their, their free throw attempts, making it really difficult for them to get um, – you know, they, they do a lot of a good job using inside out and shooting threes off, off penetration. Um, and we did a good job limiting that today. So, um, yeah, overall, I'd say our, our defensive effort was, was really, really good. And then was there maybe a bit of effort to try and get the ball on offense in the paint? Because you guys had nearly 50 points in the paint. You know, we were able to drive the basketball against them. Um, Malik, Sin, um, you know, and then get some lobs to Chris, which you saw and, and talked to him about. And Cloran did a great job uh, on the glass. I, I, I thought overall we were able to get the ball in the paint. And, and a lot of times that was off penetration, off driving the basketball, off ball screen. So um, it's a big part of what we do. And, and today we were able to do it at a really high level and take care of the basketball. We only had seven turnovers today, which, again, if we can take care of the ball and get shots every possession, you know, we did a good job offensive rebounding. Claron was great on the offensive glass. Chris was good on the offensive gra glass. Malik's always good there. So we were able to do a really good job there. And then would you say would this maybe be one of your guys' best complete games of the season so far? 
Yeah, certainly in conference play, it has been. You know, I think in conference play, it has been. I thought early in the year, we had some really, really, you know, we, we played like this a, a number of times early in the year. Um, but in conference play, this was definitely our most complete effort. And again, obviously, I think our players were really up for the game knowing that Ball State was 13-5 and five and 4-1. and one. Um, You know, we have a player, Myron, who played there last year. So, you know, really familiar with them in that regard. And then when you come down and you see, you know, close to a sellout, you know, it, it's impossible for you to not be excited. So... Again, I think the crowd and the fans and, and all the people in the athletic department, marketing and social media, Aaliyah does an unbelievable job. I don't know if you're on the Instagram page or if you see it, but all of that is is her or 90% of, 90% of all of it? All of it. All right, we'll give you all of it. All of that's her. Well, our players, I'm going to give 10% because she has to get them to do it. But she, she does a great job with that. And, um, and, you know, I just think that if we can continue with this, you know, this becomes one of the toughest places in the country to play. And again, as a student or as a fan in the community, if you can't get behind, you know, a team that's doing as well and playing as hard as we're playing, then, you know, then you just don't like basketball, I guess. Because if you like basketball at all, like w this is a, an unbelievable environment uh, to be in. So we appreciate it um, and appreciate the, the department, you know, really, really working hard to make sure everybody in town and everybody on campus was aware that we were playing. The DJ, he's pretty good too, right? Like, I like the DJ. Um, he does a great job. So, look, it's, it, we're only a third of the way through conference play, so you don't wanna, we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. But, you know, we've had a great start, and hopefully we can continue uh, and, and everybody can, can enjoy uh, seeing these guys play because guys like Sincere – you know, Sincere and Malik and Myron, those are three seniors. Like, those guys don't come around uh, every day. So, um, those guys are special players. So, uh, to have them here, you know, being able to support them is great. Yeah. Is that a strategy that, that is exclusive to playing ball state? No. That's how we guard all ball screens. Like, we're, we're going to be really, really aggressive on the ball screens. And, uh, you know, everybody who's not involved in it has to, has to be ready to, to sort of scramble out, I guess is what I, how I would describe it, like to the next guy. So when we're playing really well defensively, which we were tonight, and we've been that way most of the year, you know, you'll see that and, and making it really, really difficult to enter the ball and uh, to, to get downhill off penetration. So uh, our big guys did a great job. Our guards did a really good job tonight. Coach, you touched on the uh, atmosphere at home. You now have the fourth longest winning streak in college basketball at 16 mm -hmm. games. What would you say to uh, encourage Kent State students to yeah. come out and support the home team? Yeah, uh, next Friday is our next home game, and it's another, you know, nationally televised game. and. I'm looking over at them and I'm hoping we have tons of promotions and everything for the students um, and the DJ. And listen, I, I remember our football coach, he, he, uh, our past football coach used to say that it's a party at Dick Stadium. So like, okay, let it be a party in the Mac Center on next Friday night, right? Like, um, it's great to have people. And, and again, I think as a student, it was been a long time since I was a student, but these are the day, like you remember these things you know, 20 years from now, and it's part of what uh, it's part of what makes you care about your university is, is the experience, not just in the classroom, but you know, out of the classroom and athletics. That's that's why athletics sort of exists is to to allow kids who are students here to to enjoy, you know, part of what the university is about. Oh, no, 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 I'll keep, I stay in my lane. Yeah, listen, I stay in my lane. I, I, it was great that we got some votes and you know what, if we continue to win, you know, and we get to play on TV like we did tonight and we play the way we play, then, then we'll continue to get publicity. And then really what it comes down to is our kids being able to handle, you know, to handle that because that's not easy. Um, 
you know, to handle success. It's probably sometimes it's harder to handle success than it is failure. So uh, being able to, to handle that and continue to compete hard every day, um, that, that's really the key. And um, if we continue to win, you know, good things will happen. Hit that three at the end yeah. of the first half. How big was that for the momentum to carry into the second Yeah, half? the last the last thirty seconds of the first half we went on or forty seconds we went on a five oh run to end the half. And uh, that was a great way to end the half because we had played so well all the entire first half. So to be able to we called timeout, uh, Chris Payton had a dunk, we got a stop, Geo got a long rebound and then, you know, Sin you know, did the you know did his thing, I guess is what you'd say, right? And and hit a three at the buzzer for halftime, which I think, you know, again, it, it made a difference because now you're up 17 instead of 14 or 12. A great way to end the half, and then um, we were able to start the second half, you know, it, with that same level of intensity. Speaking, speaking of the first half, Jalen Solinger had a yeah. phenomenal first half. Can you talk a little bit about uh, his gameplay? Yeah, Jalen played well, and he's he's done it now back to back games where, you know, the the previous game he had 14 points. Um, and then tonight he had 13 and two for four from three. He's shooting a really good percentage. As long as he shoots good shots, he's going to continue to shoot a good percentage. Uh, and guys are finding him um, to, to make sure that he gets good looks. And, uh, you know, our bench, you know, when, when you had tonight, Chris with 16 and Jalen with 13, um, you know that Vaughn had eight points and five rebounds. Like when when you have depth, it allows you know a guy like Myron, who's one of our best players, he was a player of the week last week, to to you know be in foul trouble and it not impact your winning or losing. So uh, those guys are are incredibly important to to the team for sure. All right, thank you guys. Have a good weekend, everyone. We'll see you next Friday. I hope.